Front Mission is a strategy game developed by G-Craft and published by Squaresoft, which was released in Japan in 1995. There, that's all you need to know. Front Mission is a series um, that is a tactical role-playing game. Uh, one of the few tactical role-playing games on the Super Nintendo, in fact. Uh, this is the first entry in the overall series. It's a serialized storyline that follows the stories of various characters and their struggles involving mecha known as Wanzers. Or Wanzers, I suppose. A direct port was released for the Wonder Swan Color in 2002, which, as everybody knows, is the one you absolutely want to play. A port of the game developed by Square Enix was released for the PlayStation in 2003, titled Front Mission First. New content, new USN scenario to play through. Uh, the PlayStation version was ported to the DS with more content. Uh, the DS port was renamed Front Mission and released in 2007. The release marked the third time that Front Mission was localized and published outside of Japan. It was released as a PS1 classic in Japan in 2008. The game play, the game play and progression proceeds in a linear manner. We watch some cutscenes, we do uh, missions, we set up our mechs during the mission, and then we get ready for the next mission. We travel to locations on and point and click world map, and as we progress through the plot, new locations are revealed. Towns and cities are our intermission points where we can organize, set up units, etc., etc. Uh, the units, called Wanzers, a term for mecha derived from the German word Wanderpanzer, or walking tank. I don't know. I don't speak German. It's not, it's not pretty. Um, and yeah, it's basically a tile-based strategy, our tactical RPG thing, in the vein of, I guess, um, oh, what's that game everybody likes so much? Fire Emblem? Uh, I, I like the, uh, I like the Final Fantasy Tactics myself. Um, let's see. Ported a bunch of times. The soundtrack was composed by the joint team of Noriko Matsueda and Yoko Shimomura. Uh, Shimomura's work was requested by Hinorobu Sakaguchi, Vice President of Square, due to the need for a more experienced composer to work on the project along with Matsueda. So, uh, he intended to turn down this request, or she, excuse me, uh, due to her preoccupation with Super Mario RPG, but changed her mind after talking to the president and being too embarrassed to decline the request in front of him. Uh, she composed mainly the action themes as well as the opening themes, describing the soundtrack as passionate due to their motivated work. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's a really good soundtrack. Not gonna lie. The original was a huge success, sold over half a million copies in the first week. On release, Famitsu scored the Wonderswan version 30 out of 40, and the Super Famicom version 9 out of 10, later an 8 out of 10 in their Reader Cross Review. Megafund gave it an 86 out of 100 and a gold for an import game. The DS port received average reviews. Uh, IGN gave it 78, commending its options, depth, and customization compared to other DS Tactics games, but was disappointed by the lack of online play, calling it a pure port. Well, good. Not everything needs online play. Uh, Nintendo Power got a 65 out of 100, which called it stark, futuristic, advanced wars without the heavy combatants and vehicle variety. And by the end of 2007, the DS version had sold 57,000 copies in Japan. I have started this game several times. I've never finished it. I probably will one of these days. Scarlet has already done a front mission game. Maybe we'll get him to do it. He needs the practice. Uh, it's not an easy game. It's kind of hard. But the music is really good. The graphics are really good. I remember the story being really good. And uh, being the Final Fantasy Tactics fan that I am, it's hard not to notice that the menu system and the just the, the way the game looks... Uh, has a really Final Fantasy tactics -y kind of vibe to it. Great game. Great game. Find the original Super Nintendo version and give it a try. 